morning it's me i'm back it's uh been a while i guess but that's okay i don't know quarantine happened so i didn't really know what to talk about but uh, i'm back and i want to start sharing with you my bike adventures which is something that i have been doing and something that we can do um so i'm gonna go hit up the la river bike path with my friend ariel who i forced to get a bike like she fought me so hard the past year and then quarantine happened. I was like, this is going to change your effing life. Go get a bike, get outside. So I'm going to show you guys the LA river bike path today. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have so much fun. Um, it's a way to get in some great exercise, socialize while still maintaining six feet. Um, and it's really fun and it's an adventure and I'm going to wear these crazy sunglasses for the rest ride anyway uh, if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and uh, say hello in the comments below but I think that's it let's go get riding what I'm wearing today is this outfit from Sara cycling they're really comfy it's a pair of it's a short so they're really comfortable riding shorts um, and then this gray shirt which I really like the reason why I sometimes like shorts better than a bib is if you, if you have to pee in public, especially like I peed in Griffith Park before. <laughs> I had to go so bad. Um, and if you're a woman, like taking everything off, it feels horrible. So it's definitely um, really nice sometimes to have something that's not a full bib. I'm gonna link the just, um, I'm sorry in the comments below. Yeah, this is the bike I'm taking with me today. It's a KTM. It's a cyclocross bike. Um, I bought it used and it's really, really fun. I've been loving it. Um, I got this new light too. Light in motion. It is a, I think it's 900 um, lumen, so it's really bright. It's really fun. So I'll get to show you guys that too. But uh, yeah, let's let's get riding. Well, we're gonna hit the path at Fletcher. Fletcher. The LA River Path runs up and down the river from like the top of Griffith Park, the north end of Griffith Park, um, down close to downtown LA by Elysian Park. Um, and you can pretty much get on like every few blocks. There's a lot of places to get on. I like getting on the path around Fletcher and then biking up to the top, back down to where the detour is and back up kind of until I don't feel like it anymore. So this is a ride I do when I like, want to get some spinning in, but I don't really want to like climb up and down the park since I've been riding every day. I feel like climbing Griffith Park every day is a little excessive. So this is a really nice way just to get some cardio in. This is it, pretty basic, but it's really fun, it's flat. There's a few homeless encampments. There's water, I don't know, it's kinda nice. I kinda like it. Doesn't smell that bad. It's better than being on the road all the time.
look great like that. You look super. You're so cute. Super awesome. I like this new kit that you have on. Well, this new shirt. So this is the Samsara shirt. This is my new one from them. And then my shorts, I got them on sale on Labor Day. There's some like cheapy $40 deal that's actually. They look good. It's actually like they're pretty rad. Like look. Yeah. They have a little like thing here. And then they've got the gel thing that pretty liberal. And you just started uh, riding a bike, right, recently? I did. When did you get your bicycle? I got my bike in June. I would say probably like later June, but I got it in, oh, like mid-June, yeah. And you're liking it, right? Oh my God, I love it. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me is getting a bike, so I tell everyone that they need to go get a bike, for sure. But in like all seriousness, I legit influenced like four or five of my friends to buy a bicycle for the first time. And I don't think any of them regret it. I mean, maybe they do, but I don't think they do. They look like they're having fun to me. Um, but I don't think buying a bike will ever be something you regret through this COVID season. It's just, I've had so much freedom and it's something that can really take you places. And if you're feeling anxious or stuck in your life, it, it really shows you how far you can you know move through your own power and you cover a lot of ground and it's just such a wonderful way to get around and experience a location experience a city um, experience someplace you're visiting all of the major cities i've lived in i know like the back of my hand mostly because i've biked through them and you discover new things that you're just in a car you're moving too quickly it's the perfect speed to experience life in in my opinion um and it's something that I have, that has been a huge part of my whole life. You know, ever since I was a kid, we rode bikes. It was a main source of my transportation for most of my life as well. And you know, this is gonna sound really corny, but I wrote my college essay on riding a bike up a hill and how it just gets easier every single time you do it and you have to persist and push through. Um, and I, I think that's really funny because it really, you know, that's, that's how I approach most of the problems in my life. But anyway, um, thank you for stopping by and watching my video. I've kind of been away for months, but I'm back and make sure to subscribe if you're new. And if you aren't new, thanks for uh, sticking with me. Have a wonderful weekend.